Welcome to the course on audio signal processing for music applications. In this demonstration class, uh, the first class of uh, demonstrations, we will introduce Audacity, which is an audio software uh, that is uh, available under uh, all the common platforms. It's free. It's available under uh, an open license, a GNU open uh, license, and uh, it has been maintained and, uh, and is uh, supported by a group of volunteers that are doing a great job. So it's a great tool that we will use in class and, uh, and I recommend you to get a grasp of it. it uh, it's used for uh, quite a few things uh, related to audio editing. Uh, we will focus on uh, only a few of the things that, uh, that we need, uh, very simple visualizations and, uh, and editings. Let's uh, first uh, go to uh, a, a browser and uh, find it. Okay, if you uh, type Audacity uh, in Google, it will uh, the first link will be this uh, SourceForge page, in which uh, you can get quite a bit of information about it, uh, documentation, how to get involved, and uh, the download page. You can go directly to downloading the, the last version of Audacity for different platforms. In this course, we are using uh, Ubuntu, so I recommend you to, to install it for that platform. So it's a distribution of, uh, of Linux. Um, I already did that. Uh, there is a good information uh, in this website on how to download it and how to install it. So let's go directly to the, the Audacity uh, program. This is the main interface uh, of Audacity that has the common uh, menus of uh, sound editors. Uh, typically what uh, we want to do is open a sound file. So we go to File, Open. And this is the directory where I keep uh, the sounds that they will be using in the, in the, during the course. So let's open this piano.wav uh, file. It asks me if I want to uh, make a copy or use directly the, the disk file. I think it's good to make a copy. Okay, and this is the, the visualization of uh, the content of the file, the waveform. Uh, this file uh, has a particular formatting, and here we have the information about that formatting. It's a mono file, one channel. The sampling rate is 44. 1100 and the bit depth is a 32 bit float which is the format that audacity uh, uses internally so uh, even if the original file was 16 bits which is uh, the case for this sound it converts it to 32 bit float to make uh, uh, the operations easier okay so we can navigate a little bit through this file uh, and that it has the comment uh, sort of uh, zooming uh, features uh, and uh, moving around of the sound. So you can uh, select a portion of this sound uh, and uh, uh, you can uh, play uh, the, this fragment. Okay. Um, we can also, of course, uh, if we don't have anything selected and uh, we go back to the beginning, it will play the whole sound file. Okay, and uh, um, one important aspect of visualization is the time uh, we will be uh, selecting, choosing uh, time. So it's important to uh, get a very accurate reading of time. Here we have the horizontal axis in seconds, and when we select a region, it uh, we we see clearly what uh, time we are selecting. But from below here. Uh, we see a more accurate reading of the timing. We have several options of how we display time. I recommend to use this milliseconds uh, display. So from here now we can see that the origin of this uh, section is 402 milliseconds. And the duration of this section, because I specify here to visualize the length, is 220 milliseconds. Okay, That's going to be quite useful. Then uh, another uh, useful visualization is uh, what we call the spectrogram. Okay, so in, in here we can 
a click at the spectrogram and we can make it a little bit bigger and this is the uh, spectrogram of the piano sound that has been computed from uh, the sound and uh, we can see uh, uh, the same the, the whole uh, piano sound and again we can do selection playing uh, because this is just a visualization of the sound uh, and we can see the harmonics and where the beginning of the notes are so it's it's a quite uh, I believe much easier way to visualize some aspects of the sound uh, there is some uh, parameters that can be uh, chosen to uh, to control the vis analysis and visualization so if we go to edit uh, preferences and we go to the spectrogram section we have different parameters that we will talk about in class how to uh, use and how to understand so for example the window size let's just for example just change it now and let's just change the maximum frequency to visualize to for example 1500 and uh, now we see another uh, visualization of the spectrogram having uh, changed the parameters okay so let's go back to the standard uh, waveform and uh, then let's also talk about uh, what uh, transformations uh, this uh, software can do so under uh, effects uh, there is a whole bunch of uh, transformations that uh, we can uh, apply and uh, we can include uh, many more because uh, this supports uh, an open plugin platform that uh, other uh, developers uh, have been uh, developing uh, for and uh, therefore uh, on the website uh, you can uh, you can use uh, other um, other plugins uh, to extend uh, this collection of effects for example let's just use a, a simple uh, transformation the equalization which is a common um, transformation that might be of use uh, to the kinds of things we'll be doing uh, so, for example, if we um, apply this uh, has different curves which refer to different ways to equalize the sound. Um, for example, let's use uh, like uh, what says uh, telephone, which basically means that it filters the sound as if it was going through a telephone. So it will. Uh, attenuate the low frequencies and the high frequencies frequencies that do not go through uh, telephone lines okay so when we uh, apply that then the sound is modified in the time domain we don't see much but if we go to the frequency domain to the spectrogram we see that the high frequencies have been clearly attenuated for the low frequencies we don't see because there is not enough room but uh, if we had uh, uh, chosen in the preferences to visualize instead of the first 15,000 hertz, let's say to visualize the first 3,000 hertz, then we will see that in the low frequencies also the, the frequencies have been uh, attenuated. Okay. Um, and that's basically what I wanted to mention. Of course, you can uh, save uh, the sound files, you can uh, cut and paste and do quite a lot of things that uh, I believe uh, it's quite easy to, uh, to do. And uh, from the documentation, uh, it's quite easy to understand how to uh, uh, really take advantage of all these functionalities. Okay, then uh, let's go back to the slides. And, uh, what uh, we talked about today was audacity and so you can uh, go to the website and, uh, and have uh, all that information from there uh, and there is uh, a lot of very interesting documentation for it and for the piano sound uh, use uh, you can get it uh, from free sound and uh, together with uh, all these other sounds that i will be using in class so that was all for today we introduced audacity a sound editor uh, that is quite uh, easy to use, uh, quite practical, um, and it's uh, open. So I recommend very much that you uh, download it, uh, use it, and, and try to do simple editings uh, that uh, will be useful for uh, later on in the course. So thank you very much.